musical interlude, our first concert here since COVID. I am so happy to see you all. <laughs> and I'm so happy to have Midsummer Music's Griffin String Quartet here with us again. I hope this is not going to be a thing we have to wait for very long before there's another one. Oh, so, how did this happen? I got a phone call. And they said, have you read Mo Willem's book, Because? Now, I love all of Mo Willem's work. I you know, who wouldn't? Mo Willem's is beautiful and inspiring. And I said, well, well, yes, actually. And I dashed over, and I got the book. And I started flipping through and kind of reading it out loud as we talked. And it turns out that one of the members of the quartet behind me was inspired by this book to pull something together for us and thought that music and this book would go very well together. So, is this a story time with musical interludes? No. This is a concert with story interludes because the story is very short and the music is very pretty and I, I think we're going to go in that direction. So, behind me, are a violin, a violin, a cello, and a viola, which is what a string quartet is. Now, this is our very own and only string quartet in Door County, and they make beautiful music, and I'm really looking forward to the surround sound experience that I'm going to have. <laughs> All right. But first, we're going to start with this book is Because by Mo Willems. Amber Wren made the very pretty pictures. And this is the story of how someone became inspired by music. Because by Mo Willems. for a moment while we are getting everybody in. Hello, hello. <laughs>
Because many years later, people wanted to hear Franz's beautiful music, they formed an orchestra. Because a man had practiced since he was a kid, a woman studied night and day Someone created a poster about Franz's music. Tickets were sold because the train conductor stopped the train at the grand concert hall. The orchestra conductor arrived. <laughs> Thank you. 
orchestra librarian <laughs> had copies of the score, the orchestra rehearsed. <laughs> swept the floors, the grand hall was ready. Because the time had come, the ushers opened the doors. <laughs>
tickets. She heard the beautiful music written by the man named Franz, and it changed her. The girl was changed. From that moment on, the girl learned everything she could about music because it fed her. Soon, she started to write music, too, because like Franz, the young woman had something to share. Over time, the woman became very good because she worked very hard. One night, her music was discovered because she was also very lucky. Then she was invited to perform her music on the grand concert hall because so many people wanted to hear it. Her composition was dedicated to the uncle in row C, C14 because it was his ticket that brought her there.
very much to all of the families who brought little kids in here. You did great. You did great. <laughs> all right. Now, we have time. What I'd like to have happen now, okay, first of all, this book is available at the library. You may check it out and look at it very closely for yourselves anytime you would like. This is the Griffin String Quartet. I would like now for each one of them to introduce themselves to you and maybe say a word or two about their instruments and how they came to them. And then I happen to know that we are going to be able to take a look at some of the instruments, one of each kind. And if you would like to touch them, you're allowed to. It is an instrument petting zoo. So, <laughs> so Roy, will we start with you? Sure. Hey, everybody. My name is Roy. Uh, I just moved uh, two nights ago to Green Bay, finalized, I've got a place, and I'm teaching and performing in the string quartet here, so I'm going to be around. Um, I've been playing the violin uh, since I was four years old. My brother, um, seven years older than me, played the violin as well, and I really wanted to do it. Um, so that's how I got started on the violin. Hi, I'm Elliot. Um, I've been playing the violin since I was three years old. Um, not a competition, but um, I've been playing for quite a while, and my, my older brother um, handed the violin down to me. Um, he's two years older than me, um, but he got an earlier start, so I wanted to play the violin because he was also playing the violin, so that's how I got started. Hi, I'm Alexa, and I started on the piano, and then, um, and then I, I uh, wanted my father to play twinkle on the cello. He was an amateur cellist, so that's how I started learning the cello, so from my father a little bit. My name is Willie. Um, I play the viola here, and I also started on piano. I remember my first piano lesson, I was, it was from my neighbor across the street. I was so excited that I showed up a week early for my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I got the lesson anyway. So, but then I moved on to learn violin and viola, so. <laughs> Before we show you some of the instruments, does anybody have any questions they'd like to ask us about any of the instruments or about any of us? Any questions? Sure. We're happy to have them. <laughs> I'll just make a quick plug then before I get the instruments out. Um, but we have some concerts coming up in December. Uh, and keep an eye out for us. We'll have one at uh, Hope Church on December 16th, which is my birthday, and then one at Crest Pavilion on the 18th, and one in Green Bay on the 17th. Keep an eye out. We'll be there. Oh, I may, may I suggest uh, for those of you who may be interested in trying out an instrument, um, they're going to put away the instruments they were just playing on, uh, but we have some student instruments with us, meaning they're a little bit smaller. And if, if we could have each one of the musicians line up, and then if the students who are interested could then line up behind, um, each one of the performers will be happy to show you these student instruments. And you can try them all. So we have two violins, a viola, and a cello. Alexa will have the cello, Willie will have the viola, and I'll have the violin.